Like Gustav Eiffel a hundred years ago, the architects of the Canton Tower are determined to create a building unlike any other. Conventional TV towers are shaped like tall needles with circular observation decks. Mark Hamel's vision is radically different. Most observation towers, uh, I call, always call them donuts because they're like spikes with the donut pushed from the top. And if you then still want to do something new, then you have to think how can you change that pattern. The tower is actually based on a very simple idea, which is just like two circles or maybe ellipses that are connected with steel columns. The next step is then to take these two circles then like rotate them against each other so then by some kind of surprise you get like a waistline appearing. Here you can see uh, the effect the rotation has on the actual waist so see if I'm turning this that it becomes not only much more uh, uh, narrow in the middle but you can also see that the columns are actually closer together. Turning this radical design into reality will be a challenge for the engineers. To achieve the supermodel look, they must combine the strengths of concrete and steel. At the heart of the tower, they'll put a hollow concrete column to house the lifts and stairs. From this, they'll suspend five modules containing floors of equipment and observation galleries. To brace this concrete core, they'll wrap it in steel columns. This gives their tower the desired shape. But the narrow waist is a weak point where the tower could buckle. Engineers fear that such a unique tower will be very difficult to build. The engineers were, in the beginning particularly, they were quite skeptical because of the fact that it first narrows down and then becomes wider again, so it is almost like a very illogical. The thin waist is an architect's dream and an engineer's nightmare. But Mark is confident. He's seen a design like it before. I'm very much influenced by kind of like natural objects and I'm particularly like looking at microscopic photos of for instance like a bone structure. I think because it's very similar to the, the job that a very tall building has to do. Like the tower, the human thigh bone is wide at the ends and narrow in the middle. But the walls of the bone are much thicker in the middle to give it more strength. You can learn a lot of tricks from the nature, which is making it denser, like the structure denser where it needs to be dense because it needs to be stiff, and making it lighter and taking more material out, basically at the bottom and then at the top. The engineers add steel rings inside the columns to tie them into a strong lattice. And they concentrate the rings at the narrowest part to give it extra strength like a thigh bone. The result, a tower with a narrow waist that's rock solid. The Canton Tower is made up of over 4,000 different pieces. To assemble them, the engineers borrow some tricks from Gustav Eiffel. Like him, they use cranes to lift the metal pieces up the tower and swing them into position. Workers then bolt and weld them together into a seamless steel skeleton. And just like Eiffel's crew, they jack their cranes up the building as it rises. Without Eiffel's ingenious ideas, building this tower might not have been possible. In just 23 months, the Canton Tower rises 610 meters above Guangzhou. Despite the engineers' fears, the narrow waist is a triumph, elegant and strong.
An open staircase winds its way around it, so visitors can feel the wind in their hair. The views are stunning, and there's not a donut in sight. <laughs> 